How to switch to a different rendering API. Imagine you're working on a game or an application, and you realize that the current rendering API isn't quite cutting it. Maybe it's too slow, or it doesn't support the features you need. Switching to a different rendering API can be a game changer, but how do you do it? First, let's talk about why you might want to switch. Different APIs like DirectX, Vulkan, and OpenGL have their own strengths and weaknesses. For example, if you're developing for Windows, DirectX might be your best bet because it's well-supported and optimized for that platform. However, if you're looking for something more cross-platform, Vulkan could be the way to go. To switch APIs, you need to understand the hardware and software requirements. For instance, if you want to switch from DirectX 11 to DirectX 12, you need to ensure your hardware supports DirectX 12. This means checking if your graphics card is compatible and if your operating system is up to date. Next, you'll need to modify your code to use the new API. This involves replacing the old API calls with the new ones. For example, if you're moving from OpenGL to Vulkan, you'll need to set up Vulkan's device, queues, and command buffers. It's a bit like changing the engine of a car. You need to make sure all the parts fit together correctly. Another important step is to handle the differences in how each API manages resources. For instance, Vulkan is very explicit about resource management, which can be more efficient, but also more complex. You'll need to manage memory allocations, command lists, and other resources carefully to avoid performance issues. If you're using a game engine like Unreal Engine, things can be a bit easier. There are plugins and tools available that allow you to switch between different APIs without rewriting all your code. For example, the Engine User Settings plugin for Unreal Engine 5 lets you change the graphics API between DirectX 11, DirectX 12, and Vulkan right from the engine settings. Finally, testing is crucial. Once you've made the switch, you need to ensure that your application runs smoothly and performs well. This involves checking for bugs, optimizing performance, and making sure all the features you need are working as expected. So switching to a different rendering API is a bit of a journey, but with the right steps, you can make it happen and improve your application's performance and features significantly.